the two factorial. Now the ones don't do a whole lot for us, but the three, the two, the three, the two, and the two, those should all simplify. If you simplify these the way I'm looking at it, I'd say these twos are gone. We're going to simplify those out. Maybe this two and this four. Maybe this three with the nine. The reason why I'm doing that is because I like to also match up three and three and two and two. So these threes can also be eliminated. Remember, we're making ones out of this stuff. And this two and this two can be eliminated. We're making ones out of that stuff. Then I just have to multiply 10 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 3. And I can get the, the appropriate answer. Did you guys all do something similar to that? What did you get? When you multiply it. Did you multiply? Okay. 5, 0. Oh, you all got it. 50,400 different words you can make up from statistics. Fortunately, we chose the best one at the beginning, just statistics. That's great. If you had had 10 factorial different words, that'd be way bigger than 50,400. How about if you start on this one? How many ways could you plan to have a family with seven girls and five boys? How many people are we having in this family? How many kids? So if you had 12 distinct items, you would get 12 factorial from them. So that'd be 12 ways if, if you would, like said, how many ways could you arrange 12 people's names? That would be it. But for our case here, we're considering our girls and our boys to be the same. So we have non-distinct items. But what do we need to divide by to get rid of some of these choices? I'm going to leave it to you to figure out what that one is, simplify that on your own. What I need to know is how many people feel pretty good about this idea of eliminating these non-distinct choices. Guys on the left-hand side, are we okay with this? Okay, good. Is there ever a case where order doesn't matter? Like arrangements? What if you said, uh, like a city council? On a city council, besides like the is someone actually in charge? I actually don't know, so you should answer that for me. Is someone actually in charge of a city council? There are? Oh, darn it, okay. How about like a, let's say you're just going to make a committee. We have lots of committees on the school. Maybe you've been on a committee. Is anyone, in, besides like the, the leader person, is there an ordering of committee members? If everyone's just on a committee, the answer is no, I know that one fact. Like everyone's on the same level, all your input is equal. No one's the president, vice president, there's no hierarchy on a committee. So here's the question, if you're going to pick out a committee, like a committee of people, I'm just going to pick your names out of the hat. If I just say there's 10 people who want to be on a committee, we're going to pick out eight people. So only two people are excluded. If we're going to pick out those eight people just by pulling out names out of a hat, does it really matter whose name is first? Does it matter whose name is second? If you're all just going to be on the committee, it really, it's really not making a difference. So we need to kind of determine what we do if ordering doesn't make a difference for us. So sometimes order doesn't matter. You know what, that one didn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to you, the whole committee. Let me give you another for instance, okay? Let's go down to uh, let's go down to Magic Mountain for a while. How many rides do they have in Magic Mountain? Let's say like 52, like 52 rides, one for every week of the year. Okay, so you give every week a different ride. So they have 52 rides, and you say I don't really care the order that I'm I'm going on those rides. All I care about is I want to go on five rides, just five. I don't care which one comes first. I don't care which one comes second. I just want to ride my five rides because at the end of the day. You just want to say, I rode the Riddler, and the Tatsu, and whatever three other, I've only gone there like twice. The what else? Superman. Superman. 
Batman. X2 and Batman. Okay, those are, those are the rides. That would be five rides. Would it matter the order you went on? I don't care, as long as I'm going the rides. So in our case, the arrangement of those rides, going on Superman first versus going on Batman first, really wouldn't make a difference to us. We just want to go on five rides. You get the idea. So the arrangement really doesn't matter. So let's say that you want to... go on five rides out of, I don't really think there's 52, let's say there's like 25, out of 25 <laughs> rides at Magic Mountain. You don't care about the order on which you go on these rides. So the question is, how many ways could we ride five rides? Or how many combinations of five rides could we select? Combinations of five rides could we select? Combination means I really don't care the order. What I care about is that we just pick the five rides. There are some rules for combinations. First rule, first thing you gotta have, again, you have to have n different items because we found out if we have non-distinct items, things change up a bit. So with combinations, again, we're back to the n different items. So our rides, we're talking about five different wide rides here. We're talking about 25 total different rides. Are you with me on this? You're not listing rides twice over here. You have different rides. So n different or distinct rides. Just like permutations, we're going to be selecting a certain number of them to ride or to, to have in our, our combination. So we're still selecting, what was that letter we used to select a certain number? R of them. And third, for a combination, the arrangement does not matter. So ride A, B, C, going on A first, then B first, then C first, would be the same. As C, A, B, or any other ordering of those. What the combination says, it says, I'm just trying to pick out five rides. I don't care the order. As long as I'm going on ride A, B, and C, and I'm going, or I'm going on ride C, A, and B, those are the same for me. I'm just I'm going on those three rides in total, right? At the end of the day, I went on the same exact three rides. Are you with me on this? In our case, we would have five rides. Now, let me give you the formula for our combinations. I'll show you how to use it on a calculator, and we'll be done for our day. So with our combinations, it looks really similar to the permutation. We still have an N. We have a C now instead of that P, because instead of a permutation where arrangement matters, we have a combination where arrangement doesn't matter. But we're still picking out our items. On the new way of refraction, we still have our n factorial. That would be the total number of arrangements with n distinct items, and that's what we have. However, we are going to have to eliminate a lot of stuff on the bottom. Now, when we do this, n minus r factorial, 
What they got rid of was all the arrangements that we didn't want that did not include our, our items. That's the same as a per permutation. Right now you have a permutation. Not your head if you're still with me. That's a permutation. How we make it a combination is we take out R factorial. Here's what this says. This is con kind of combining a couple ideas here. This is treating those R items as non-distinct. It's dividing out, treating them like non-distinct. Because look what happens. This says if CAB is the same as ABC, that's treating those three items as non-distinct items, and that's how you get rid of them. Do you see the, the similarity there between that? That's what that's doing for you. Now, can you do it on a calculator? Can you do it on in by by hand? Sure. But it's a lot easier on your calculator. We're going to show this real quick on your, your calculator here. Where do you go to first, ladies and gentlemen? Math. Math, and it's going to be where? Yeah, you might have already seen it, actually. We go to the probability, and what we're looking for on this screen is, here's for factorial, if you want to do it by hand, you can do that. This one was, did arrangement matter for this one or not? This one, the NPR, does arrangement matter for that? Yes. Does arrangement matter for this one? Yeah. This one's a, called a, what's that called again? And this is a... Good. So we're picking out, I'm going to go back to my original screen here. We're picking out how many rides did we, did we want to choose from? Five out of a possible? 25. So what's going to come first, the five or the 25? 25. We have 25 rides we can choose from. We're going to find out how many ways we can ride five rides out of that. We go down to, this would be if the order mattered, if the order of our rides mattered, that would be it. If we don't say, I don't really care, I really just care about going on five rides. We're going to pick the NCR, and then what do we put after that? 53,130 ways we can go on five different rides out of 25. If you want your handheld calculator, the scientific one, it's the same basic idea. We do our 25. On this case, you had to press the second button to get down to your NCR, which is above the number eight. And then we press our five, but we'll get the same exact answer. I'm gonna feel pretty good about what we talked about today. Do you understand the difference between a permutation and a combination? Do you understand how to use your calculator to find both those things? Good. If you, if you don't, if you're having struggling with that a little bit later, come and see me in my office or my uh, math lab hour, and I can show you how to do that.